oh we have this pretty dire um video or no pretty dire article here courtesy of yahoo news where for some reason Demi Lovato's need for constant attention knows no bounds and she decided to leap out of the bushes and declare herself to be non-binary which you know is what it is but in terms of like a series of events that basically happen you know back to back to back to back this sort of feels like to me like a cry for attention less so than a need to really announce that you don't want to be classified and these kind of you know um heteronormative norms right in terms of being you know uh, male or female you're somewhere in between because there's a part of me that thinks being actually non-binary would just reflect in how you carry yourself in the world would kind of reflect yourself in how your world views would carry would, would would kind of carry through in the art that you make but just announcing it just for the sake of it without any real changes in your character what you do just seems a bit odd maybe i'm being a little bit too harsh on it but it just seems like a cry for attention in my opinion but it says the following let's read the article itself it says singer and songwriter demi lovato is non-binary and is changing their pronouns from she her to they them non-binary people do not identify as male or female and tend to not conform to gender norms either the disney star 28 which is a big kind of red flag to kind of put out there right in terms of being a child star you know bouncing back from heartache and addiction and recovery and drug abuse and all that malarkey and then suddenly being in a position where for the most part no one really gives a crap about your art anymore or your musical output maybe because you've probably not really cared about yourself so if you are obs kind of i would imagine if you've kind of grown up in front of the camera for as long as she has being a disney child star there is a part of you that kind of needs to fulfill and have that attention satisfied in some way, shape or form. And maybe you do deep down feel like you are non-binary, but if there is a way to kind of get people's unbridled attention and sympathy for doing nothing, because that's, that's the thing as well that's really interesting about this. From the artists I grew up kind of idolizing who I would maybe deem to be non-binary or somewhere within that realm, people like David Bowie, Iggy Pop, right? Uh, people that I kind of looked up to as performers and as artists all around it felt like to me that they let their art basically speak for whatever you know um gender confusions they had in themselves right identity stuff that they weren't really cool with um tough upbringings they basically poured all of that into their art and maybe rarely on some interviews maybe in you know memoirs you know many many years had gone by where they kind of finally wrestled with the torment and the abuse that they suffered when they were younger they might spill the beans and tell you hey for the longest time i wasn't comfortable in my own skin this is why i did this this and the other but they never used it as a thing to kind of um to kind of gain sympathy or adoration from an audience because you haven't really done anything. Just identifying yourself as non-binary isn't like an achievement, especially in today's society. It's not as if like you're announcing yourself as non-binary in Zimbabwe, in Belarus. That would be a bit of an achievement, right? Because the society over there is fairly against um, non, you know, um, non-conventional lifestyles, right? Or non-conventional ways of seeing the world. So doing it here in the West, being a affluent white lady i guess what is she lovato is she latino i don't know but regardless like from what she looks like to me she's like a regular white rich white lady that has you know all the access in the world has given has been given a million opportunities to bounce back and get better and for some reason again like i mentioned in a, a tweet one time like demi lovato might be the only celebrity i've ever seen in my entire life who might have got less sympathy um post recovery and addiction right usually when somebody goes through especially a hollywood artist or entertainment person goes through a very public you know um addiction battle and goes to recovery and rehab and then relapses again and goes back again people are sort of like rooting for you even if you're the devil reincarnated people kind of like you know what we get this person a hard time i'm rooting for them to get their life into order and when they finally do get their life in order you know and they settle down they maybe start a family they start a business whatever it may be you're like you know what good on you but Demi Lovato might be the only person post recovery who's kind of made people, she's kind of turned people off from her more so than ever, which might be on purpose. It might be her, it might be like, um, it might be what John Mulaney, see John Mulaney, right? He went into recovery and then he came out of recovery and divorced his wife and started hooking up with flipping Olivia Munn. Maybe that is part of recovery, right? 
actually coming into who you actually are and this is who she actually is she's always been this sort of like complaining about frozen yogurt and then declaring that you're non-binary after the fact when you get getting stick it kind of reminds me a little bit of kevin spacey he gets accused of sexual misconduct and then straight away he comes out and announces he's gay he's like uh we kind of guessed it mate <laughs> that doesn't take away from the crime that you committed <laughs> oh honestly this is a madness um it says here Oh yeah, this is her, uh, her quote here. Uh, she, they took to Twitter and said, "Today is the day I'm so happy to share more of my life with you. Why are you sharing your life with us? We don't care. We don't want to know anything about your life. We want to listen to your music. That's what we're here for. We want to hear you sing. We want to hear you pour your heartache and your pain into your artwork. Have you listened to the new Olivia Rodrigo album, by the way? What's it called? Is it called Burn? The new Olivia Rodrigo album? It is stupendous. Sour. It's really good. I think there's a track called Burn. Is that why I keep saying Burn? No, oh, brutal. It's really good. Olivia Rodrigo, right? The girl that made the track, um, what was it called? Da, 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 da. Uh, Driver's License. The one that was, you know, was everywhere. She has an album which is essentially about heartache and breakup, right? And it's stupendous. It'll make you think and long for all the people that you broke up with or broke up with you over the years. It's really marvellous. Better than any interview she could have given. Better than any, you know, tweet thread or Instagram story statement it's in her artwork and it resonated it really does but this ugh. i'm proud to let you know that I identify as non-binary and will officially be changing my pronouns to they them moving forward lovato said that um they came to understand their gender identity after spending time healing and doing some reflective um work over the past year it's it's super tricky to get all this uh pronoun stuff correct isn't it when you're like especially when it's stuff that kind of goes against whatever linguistic stuff that you've kind of been taught over the years in school i remember once when i was in a club and i had to you know high off my mind somewhere in a smoking area um i kind of got in a conversation with someone and they you know let me know that they were non-binary now i couldn't figure it out in my head i was like what why would you call yourself day like that's not the right pronoun to use that's not grammatically correct and then we got to a point where oh i finally realized what the point was but it's like it's a real head scratcher to kind of get it to kind of click in your head once you do get a click it's okay but it's still a bit of a it's a bit of an adjustment to make uh but it's like oh, i don't know man maybe it's just me but when's what's the last demi Lovato track that you've actually heard has she even poured any of this into her music has her recent album had anything to do with her addiction did she mention anything to do with her relapse and letting her family down and you know being a burden on her friends and stuff i don't know if you watch you because that's why i think some of this stuff is it feels like to me they some celebrities really want for some reason i don't know what it is it's sort of maybe similar to when chris brown had his like gang uh gang banging you know phase or whatever maybe you're still going through at the moment but when you're at that level of wealth and celebrity you're so detached from reality that you want you want to be um yeah you could be so detached from reality that you then start adopting the most extreme parts of what you call reality in order to kind of show people that you're really human and that you're not just a celebrity. So maybe that's what Chris Brown did, right? I'm super high up. I'm this heartthrob R&B dude. You know, I travel with a security detail. I have girls kind of fainting and screaming outside my hotel room. But I also want to be a normal guy and show that I'm about it and I'm not soft. So I adopt the hardest or the complete opposite of what it is to be an R&B singer, which is kind of be a gangbanging guy, right? And align myself with that. And maybe the same is happening with Demi Lovato, right? She's a you know, an affluent Disney star, you know, she's grandfathered into the industry. No matter what she does, she can never be cancelled, basically, in effect, right? She's got a, a position for life, pop star, all this good stuff happening for her, goes through an addiction, comes back, and it may be the way to kind of, like, show that you're real and you're human is to say, is to adopt these pronouns that everyone else is adopting because it makes you feel grounded somewhat in reality. I don't know what it is, but again... This could be best fed into our actual art. This will do far better. In terms of, if you actually wanted to make and inspire people, especially kids coming up to be like, hey, if you are confused about your identity and you want to see how somebody else that you look up to is kind of struggling with the same things, here's my song with these lyrics. Stuff that I probably would never speak about in an interview, um, you know, prior or, you know, after the album's come out. That might be a better way to do it. But again, maybe I'm kind of being a little bit too, um, what you call it, critical about this stuff. But it's just, uh, 
Um, it comes after Liberto announced in March that they were pansexual, which is when someone's attracted to other people regardless of their gender. Using they them pronouns as best represents the fluidity I feel in my gender expression. Singer added, Levato said that they do not claim to be an expert or spokesperson for any non-binary people, but sharing the news and fans open another level of vulnerability. God almighty, man. Everyone wants to be vulnerable. No one wants to be great, right? No one wants to just be amazing at what they do. Just be an amazing singer, songwriter, like nothing. Let me just be vulnerable. Let me cry on camera. Let me tell you about my struggles. Let me tell you about my trauma. Let me tell you about my story. Like, God damn it, we all have stories. We all have trauma, but we just compartmentalize it and get on with it because we're adults and we have to live in this world that we've all weirdly agreed works in this odd way. That's the only way we can kind of get up in the morning and, you know, put one foot in front of the other and ensure that our, you know, kids have food on the table and have roofs on their heads and clothes on their backs. We don't need to keep sharing our stories in order to kind of gain sympathy and connection with human beings. Like, it doesn't make any sense. They're so detached from reality. It's just, my God. The singer will be speaking to other non-binary people in the video series about gender identity that is coming soon. Of course, um, I will, what I'm doing to these ones, uh, I'm doing this for those out there that have been, uh, haven't been able to share who they truly are with their loved ones. Please keep living your truths and know that I'm sending you so much love your way, Lovato added. Maybe a part of it also is like, you know, this is kind of a weird statement to make, but maybe this is part, this is kind of, maybe because I'm going through my own um, journey now at the moment with my fasting, but maybe part of it also, if you're an artist, when you don't have the attention on your art or you're not able to kind of make art at the moment because you're in a vulnerable state or you don't feel good singing or anything, maybe it's to do with weight and like just not looking your best because she's obviously, you know, had to struggle with her weight over the years, especially with addiction, I'm assuming, you know, drinking a bunch and doing a lot of drugs probably isn't good for your waistline. So she's obviously built up some unhealthy habits and maybe she doesn't actually feel like a singer and a star at the moment. So the only way to kind of justify your existence is to kind of put on this cloak of normality and kind of adopt these struggles that regular people are going through in order to kind of make yourself feel somewhat whole and somewhat worthy of attention, which is really, really dark if you think about it, right? Because if, if anything, this is just all... Uh, kind of internal pain that she's vocalizing and kind of making us complicit in we don't want to be involved in it whatsoever but she's kind of pushing it into our faces isn't it this is what it basically feels like and it's really really annoying i have to be honest it's really really annoying i find it detestable um and then if that wasn't worse look at this bloody article from tmz i don't know if you know who this woman is right courtney stodden demi lovato coming out will save lives are you absolutely insane helps us struggle with validation as if the people out there who are actually struggling with you know gender dysphoria and identity identification you know um living within this world that we've all coexisted in and created uh you know the pressures of home life growing up in a conservative society and neighborhood and religion all this stuff you really think demi lovato is going to be the key to them getting a breakthrough and deciding that you know what i'm gonna go and you know, come out to my parents who are, you know, con Christian conservative, you know, very staunch, you know, Muslim, um, Islamic people, Muslim people, Islamics, like, pfft, what? David Vaughan isn't going to do jack shit. I tell you that now. Oh, but yeah, we don't, we don't even need to read this article, but you, you know what it is. You know, you know what the vibe is. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm reading too much into it and it's not something I really understand, but yeah, David Vaughan is, uh, is a day dem obviously and that is something to somehow clap about and be happy for i don't really get it i don't really get it but hey we continue 